Hey guys, Game GameDev here, and in this video I want to show you how to handle deprecation. So what I mean by deprecation is basically functions that are going to be either altered to take in different parameters or just flat out removed or moved to a different place and a, you know, a future engine version. So I have a couple examples here. So the first one that we're going to cover is Calculate Direction. So this project is my FPS plugin. It is on 4.26 right now. And I have another version open, which is the exact same plugin that's open for engine 5.0.2. Now with this, as you can see, I have a couple warnings here when I compiled. But for this one on 4.26, it's completely fine. So you can see here for calculate direction, please use the Kismet animation library calculate direction instead. And to update your code, you know, to the new API before upgrading to the next release. So basically the next engine version, even though it usually kind of takes a, a little bit longer for things to actually get deprecated than one simple release. But anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to write out using if defines with the engine version to figure out or to basically compile out different parts of the code to work with either or. So that way you're not making multiple, you know, switches between each, I guess you could say, variation. So basically my plugin is going to support four point or Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5. Therefore, I want to be able to support both calls. Now to do that, let's head over to the 4.26 version. We're going to wrap ourselves with an if defined around calculate direction. So we're going to have an if else for UE5 and UE4. So what we can do is, first off, we start out with the if defined. So what we're going to look for is the engine underscore major version. So if we go ahead and control click to that, you can see we're at 4.26.2, indicating that I'm on engine version 4.26.2. And then if we basically do the same exact thing over here in this project, and we go to it, you can see it's 5.0.2, so 5.0.2. So that's how this kind of works. We're basically going to check what our major version is, which in our case right here is 4, and in this project is 5, and, you know, run the appropriate function. So in this case, we're on 4, so we're going to just basically do a universal check. So if engine major version is equal to 5, what do we want to do? As well as if it is not equal to 5, what do we want to do? And then finally, if I can spell right, we can just end it. So for the else, I'm going to be doing the exact same thing that I'm doing now, so the normal calculate direction call. However, we hit over here, it's asking us to use the U Kismet Animation Library Calculate Direction instead. So it might be easier for you to actually modify your code in the project that has these warnings. So that way you can actually, you know, have your IntelliSense or whatever you're using pick up for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little section right here, copy it, and paste it right on over to the Unreal Engine 5 project. So that way I get, you know, some sort of indication. So what I know I need to do is get the U Kismet animation library, which it just asked me to include. So it already did that for me, which in this case is, here it is, the Kismet animation library.h. Simple enough. Then we want to call calculate direction. And that's pretty much it. However, uh, I don't necessarily want to include this header in my UE4 project. So what I'm going to do is basically what I already just did and wrap it. So we're going to have our if defined, which I just went right by. If it's equal to 5, we include it. And that's it. So if our engine major version is 5, then all we do is include the Kismet animation library.h. So now if I go ahead and compile here, you'll see that one of the warnings, the very top one, should be gone. So let's go ahead and give that a try. There we go. So as you can see, it has now been removed from the list of warnings. So now we just want to copy that to our UE4, or basically the original, and we can call it a day. So that's one of the issues resolved, or one of the warnings resolved. Now we have a couple more, so let's head back. We have my animation notify. So this will involve the header. 
So I can go ahead and show you that as the example as well. I kind of figured that would be a, you know, more of a good view, so to speak, on how to do things. So actually, I wonder if it tells me when to call the super. Yes, it does. So I'm going to go ahead and head over to the parent function just so I can go to the implementation here in the header. So basically, it's asking us, this is what we're currently using, and it's asking us to use this guy. So basically, all it does is it has in, you know, an extra parameter, nothing fancy. But I'm going to go ahead and copy the entire definition, head over to my notify, and I got to check it out really quick. And basically, from here, implement it in the exact same manner. So with depending on our major version. So simple enough, if engine major version equals five, what do we do? Well, we do something. Otherwise, we do something for UE4. And finally, we can go ahead and just end it. So what do we want for UE5? We want the new function, the one that has the extra parameter. So let's copy that and paste it in here and move the other one down like so. So if our engine is on, you know, UE5, we use the new function. Otherwise, meaning it's four, we use the old. So now I can go ahead and create that. Actually, probably wouldn't hurt to, let me head over to the function really quick. This might be a little bit cleaner of a way. So when we call notify, because we're on UE5, you know, we don't have it per se. Let me check it out. So what we're going to do is simply if our engine major version is five, we want to have the fancier function definition. Otherwise, we use the normal UE4. So else, and then we can end our if statement. So one thing I need to grab is going to be the extra parameter. Just like so. Okay, and I need to override it because it's overriding the uh, parent or the definition okay so starting from the header if our engine version is five so we're on ue5 we run the new function that it wants us to with the extra parameter otherwise meaning we're on four or some other version we run the original then the implementation what we do is i might have to actually add another one right here for the super call as well so I guess it wouldn't hurt just to wrap it all in there, kind of like, well, you'll see here in a second. This is going to look really ugly. <laughs> now I just got to pass in the third parameter. And we're done. Okay. So then in the actual implementation of the function, what we do is check. So are we running engine 5? If so, this is the definition that we're running. So it has our third parameter as well as we call or we pass in the third parameter for our parent call. And then if we're on UE4, what we do is we check or sorry, we call the original or we use the original kind of implementation with the just the two parameters and we call the parent function with just the two parameters. And this should eliminate the warning that we were getting in the uh, for the well, my camera shake notifier. So let's check that. And we are done. So that's really all there is to it. You can see now it's removed from this list of warnings here. And everything should be handled accordingly based on what engine version we are actually on. So if we're on UE5, this does not compile at all. This does. If we're on UE4, this compiles, whereas this does not. So it's pretty straightforward once you kind of get your head around it. It's not really something that's difficult to grasp. You just do it once, you're basically done. You have it noted to memory on how to do it. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you like what I'm doing and want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below, as well as if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord. That's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.